education, economic development, building stronger neighbors. Ricardo Diaz has been at the head of the table for many of these big ideas. The executive director for the United Community Center is here to talk about three on the table events this Tuesday at the UCC. You're going to be busy. You're leading one of the discussions. What are you going to talk about? So we're going to talk about Milwaukee. Uh, why Milwaukee? <laughs> you know it pretty well. Yeah, how yeah. do we do? <laughs> and, and this is an incredible city, and we want to talk about We have our issues like any other urban center in the country. Mm -hmm. So our table is a diverse group, both uh, uh, from a geography perspective, uh, demographically, ethnically, and we're bringing them together. It's going to be nine of us uh, around the table in my, in my group earlier uh -huh. on. We're going to have breakfast. We're going to eat at Cafe El Sol, so they're going to have a, a great breakfast. And is then, the table full? And the table is full, yes. Is that, so, right, we're <laughs> actually, I, actually, we could always use one more. more. Okay. okay. There's always. Good, good. yes. Uh, and so the, the idea is really to talk. If you were asking someone to come to Milwaukee, what would you tell them? Oh. How like, would you bring them here? That's a starter. In the, in the, why, would you, why do you stay here? Mm -hmm. What's, what about in your neighborhood? Mm -hmm. We know we have issues, so, but what makes you be one part of this community? And, and so that's going to be the topic that I'm, I'm going to be addressing with the other eight uh, participants. And then we're going to have a youth group. Uh, led by some of our youth councils, we're inviting also, also other youth providers in the community mm -hmm. about their future. How do they see it? And well, with sports as well and the conversation. Yeah, yeah we'll blend that in yep. as well. But, you know, United Community Center has always been about the future sure. mm -hmm. and opportunities. And, and so our youth have, you know, is really, uh, you know, really a part of that. But what's keeping you for the next step? You know, what, what about the future. What do you want to do uh, when, you, when you basically get into the work world? Mm -hmm. So it'll be all of those things. And then education. Well, no, the third one will be our art Your arts, right. Yes. Yes. So, How important arts. Right. And so we'll bring different uh, individuals, artists in the community to talk about what about art in Milwaukee? Mm -hmm. You know, what do you think that scene is all about? And, and so uh, we think it's really a diverse uh, group of people mm -hmm. uh, talking about diverse number of issues. I think these are important matters that, that we need to talk about. But let's talk about um, community, because you said that, you know, we're sitting at the table, what, what is it about Milwaukee that keeps you here, that uh, you would tell somebody so that they would come here? How do we make sure that our communities are expanding so that it is inclusive? Right. Well, one of the things we always say, the Hispanics are not here because of the weather. You know, sure not. You know, but they're here because this is, this is a community that is warm. Mm -hmm. People look you in the eye. People say hello to you in the morning. They open a door. Mm -hmm. Those are the idiosyncrasies. Uh, you know, we have an incredible asset, our arts, our sports teams. Uh, we're going to see the Packers this afternoon uh, yeah. beat, beat, beat those, uh, you know. I like those, your uh, prediction. The Vikings, right. you know. But besides all of that, I, I think this is a community where things Things are fixable. We have our issues like anywhere else. And we at the United Community Center, our education as a vehicle, as an anti-poverty mm -hmm. issue, and how do you defeat poverty is through education. But Ricardo, help me here. I mean, you've been part of a lot of conversations. Yes. And sometimes with those conversations become frustrations because things aren't moving fast enough, right. things aren't getting done. Or it so, stays at the table and it goes stays. nowhere. So where do you want this to lead people? You know, I think, as was been said before by Marcus and others, um, that, you know, w we need together nationally to, to change the dialogue. Mm -hmm. We need to find people. We don't have to all agree on the same thing, but we have to talk to one another. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when coalition becomes a bad word, when compromise becomes a bad word, mm -hmm. then we've got problems. And I think what we're trying to do through the on the table is broaden that to get to know people, that there are different points of view to attack uh, problems. There's not one solution. So what we're hoping is that if two or three good ideas come out of this, of how to fix something, I, I think this will be a winner. Uh, you know, United Community Center, the word implies we're about un uniting people. Sure. Mm -hmm. And community. Uh, and community. And, and helping people become better and, and really achieve their goals and, and, and their aspirations. And, and I think this is, a, this is a start. This was a no win for you to say <laughs> yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I can't wait to get this started. Um, and it seems like everybody who we've spoken to thus far, the, the spirit is community. It is let's move it forward and let's do it together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ricardo Diaz, thank you very much for coming thank in. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing how things go on Tuesday. <laughs> go pack. And go pack, yes. <laughs>